Yes, I can see it now. Susie, what's your other name? Perkins. <laughs> no, that won't do. Let me think. Um, I know. Susie De La Rue, exotic dancer and juggler. The dish with the dishes. <laughs> yeah, well, after that, commercials, film parts. You see, all you need is the right handling. <laughs> Have you still got the spangles? Yeah. Good. When do I start? Tomorrow. Mornings or afternoons? Afternoons. I don't get up very early. Neither do I. <laughs> Tomorrow, then. What about your father? Busy, professional man, seeking companionship? Yeah, well, that's the trouble. He's too busy. <laughs> By the time he gets around to companionship, he's worn out. <laughs> yeah, well, see you tomorrow, then. Oh, and uh, don't forget the spangles, will you? <laughs> You don't mind? No, you finish your nails. <laughs> Tell me about the cabinet minister. Well, it was when Roberta and I were doing the clubs. We had this knife throwing act. Well, it was more of a ballet, really. I was tied to this stake wearing leotard and spangles, and Roberta would enter wearing silver boots, blue cape and pouch. He'd run his hands over my body, consumed in a jealous passion, then start throwing knives. Oh, it was very artistic. Anyway, this night, one ricocheted and nicked this fella's ear. Well, of course, I apologised, and he said if I spent the evening with him, he'd forget about it. Well, since we weren't insured, well, I was, but not the audience. I said yes. Well, before the evening was over, I knew all the budget secrets and the address of a safe bunker in the event of nuclear war. What a story! Well, has that done? Now... I've got a surprise for you. The Spangles? Yes. I'll make sure the coat's clear. <laughs> I'm gonna... Well? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Who was that? That was the cleaning lady. <laughs> Very young to be a widow. I know. It was a circus romance. Circus? I married the human cannonball. <laughs> what? Trevor, the human cannonball. We knew our happiness was built on shifting sand. But you live with danger when you're married to the human cannonball. You must do, yes. I begged him to be careful. For my sake, for the first time, he began to take precautions. He started to reduce the charge in the cannon. Some nights he barely dropped out the end of the barrel. <laughs> the boss wasn't pleased. He wanted something more spectacular. And then we reached the Avon. The Avon? The boss wanted Trevor to clear the Avon in a spectacular publicity stunt. It would never been done before. Well, Trevor responded to the challenge. He wouldn't listen to me. He'd, he doubled, trebled the charge in the cannon. He was determined to clear that river. <laughs> and did he? He not only cleared the river, he cleared a railway line and a bus depot and all. Why don't you ask your lover to protect you, huh? Oh, I'm not her lover. I only met her today. Tell him, Matthew. Roberto fixed him with the same icy stare that had quelled the king of the beasts. <laughs> Look, look, can't we be reasonable about this? He's not reasonable, he's potty. You say that to Roberto? Hey, put that whip down. This room's not big enough. Well, why don't you take it, my friend? Right. <laughs> <laughs> not the Christmas! <laughs> oh, my God, she's killed him!